Hello Plymouth, Luke Pollard here, I'm your Member of Parliament. Today we've heard from the government that those years of Tory pay austerity for those in the public sector is coming to an end. The Tory pay cap is coming to an end. It's good news for everyone that works in the public sector in Plymouth, from firefighters to police officers to doctors, nurses and our armed forces and uh, uh, those people that work in the prison service. But let's look at the detail. We've been fighting against this cruel pay cap that has driven people from the profession, that's damaged recruitment and hurt retention. But there's no additional money to pay for this pay rise. That means all the additional pay rise is going to have to come from the budgets where the pay is originally coming from. So for the armed forces, the pay rise of about 2.9% is great news. But which ships, which capabilities, which jobs are going to be lost to pay for these service increases? For those people working in the prisons, we know there's a crisis in our prisons already. What prison services are going to be cut to pay for the increases? So let's welcome the news that the government has recognised that Tory austerity in public sector pay cap has caused real misery and pain. It's good news that it's gone, but let's get stuck into the detail because making more cuts to those budgets to pay for the pay rise is not a victory that we are looking for. It's more pain, more austerity and more cuts to our public services. This is why Tory austerity in its complete form has to come to an end. That will only really happen when we have a Labour government and I hope there's a general election just around the corner. Thanks very much Plymouth. See you soon.